Have you ever done a leg day and thought, damn, I really wish I could get some more machines in here, and then you did some online, I'm just looking, and decided, well, damn, I don't have the space for any machines in here. And then you thought, I should probably go back to a commercial gym. Well, stop it, okay? Don't you ever say that again. Whew, my bad, I, that wasn't part of the skit, I just kinda, just kinda lost it. Anyway, I got some hacks you can try out in your garage gym so you don't have to consider going back to a commercial gym. Welcome back to Texas Flex. I'm Mike Hernandez and today, the first exercise that we're going to hack, or machine in this case, is the hack squat. Now I know you want a hack squat like press combo. I know you do. I do. But the price is hefty and the space it's going to take is even bigger. So. In this case, let's try something else. You'll need a physio ball, some heavy dumbbells, and a blank wall like the one you see beside me. What you'll do is you'll place the physio ball behind you, preferably on your lower back. You'll reach down, grab the dumbbells, and start to squat. This exercise is gonna be similar to the hack squat because it'll put a heavy emphasis on the contraction of the quads at the top range of motion. Now you can squat to depth in this exercise and really get a feel for what that feels like, engaging the hamstrings and the glutes, but it's going to be a little bit awkward once you hit a certain depth because the physio ball is going to move around a little bit. Now for quads on the other hand, I would definitely recommend this exercise to anybody that wants to feel that extra pump and needs a new exercise to try out. Let me know how it feels in the comments below or if you have a better variation of this exercise. Let's move on. All right, so for this next hack, it's not really replacing a machine and hell, it doesn't even have to be in a garage gym. You can do this anywhere, but it aids in being able to do what I think is one of the best exercises for your legs and that is the front squat. So instead of having all that weight on your wrist, bending it backwards and it honestly kind of hurts a little bit if you don't have that mobility. Instead, you'll place two lifting straps onto the bar like so. Wrap your hands around the lifting straps once they are fastened tightly. At this point, you can just bring the bar up to your shoulders and begin to front squat. My boy Max first told me about this about a year ago when I was really into mobility and I was actually able to front squat almost as much as I could back squat. But then, you know, I kind of fell off the mobility train and now it's actually helped me get back into front squatting. And I think Athlete Next just made a video about it recently. That's kind of how I got reminded that this is a pretty good hack for those that don't want to spend the time working on their wrist mobility. That's it for number two. Let's move on to number three. Rounding out the video, I actually got this hack from Elite FTS on their Instagram page. What you'll do is you'll take a adjustable bench with a leg curl and leg extension combo attachment. You'll set up a nice little place to sit. You'll place the bottom side of the attachment on your knees with something preferably under your feet. Place the weight on the weight horn, and just like that, you have a little makeshift calf raise machine. Now, this one takes some time to set up, and it's still a little bit awkward, especially you know due to the quality of whatever adjustable bench or leg combo attachment that you happen to have. This one is flimsy, so it moves around a lot. But let's be real. Let's face it. You weren't going to do calf raises anyways. So, this one is a good hack. It's just not realistic. All joking aside, I hope these hacks can make your garage gym that much better and help you diversify your leg day. Because as we all know, we can't skip it. So you might as well make it one of the better days. And that's what I've done and that's how I've seen most of the gains in my legs. And I know what you're thinking, this guy has skinny legs. What is he talking about? They're okay to me, okay? They're okay to me. And that's, that's all that matters, all right? Don't take that away from me. Anyway, that's gonna be the end of the video, but make sure you click the links in the description below. Get yourself some Redcom One Gear, 
uh, buy some supplements, do whatever it is that you want to do to support the channel. It's really appreciated. Comment down below if you guys have any hacks or ideas that make your gym more better. <laughs> and of course, as always, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends because, you know, if we expand a little bit, then I get more subscribers and I get more money to do more stuff. That's it. I'll see you guys at the next flex.